Mate. Yes, it's Ziggy. Warning, this video has a massive spoiler alert. This video contains spoilers for the Death Note fandom, Sherlock fandom, the Doctor Who fandom. You know what, don't even watch it. I'm not entertaining anyway. So the other day I was just sat on my bed eating beans, watching my new favourite thing in the whole wide world. Death Note. When something absolutely horrific happened, my favourite character died. <laughs> This may not seem like a big thing to you, but you don't quite understand. I don't feel things for TV shows and characters and things, like, ever. Oh no. Should get some beans. It was horrific. My whole life just crumbled around me. Like, I loved this character. I related to this character. And he was really hot. I mean, what? Anime characters can't be attractive. <sighs> I will ask the world of Google. Oh my god, somebody's creating a wearable book. No, Ziggy, that's off topic. Get back on topic. Empathy and sympathy. There. <laughs> Empathy and sympathy. A phenomenon. What? <laughs> what a fen fen <laughs> phenomena. <laughs> phenomena. What's that say? Phenomena. Phenomena. Empathy and sympathy are phenomena we experience almost daily in our dealings with others. They play key roles in the way we respond to fictional characters. Well, that says a lot about me then. What, the fact you can't read? Shut up! <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my video. Please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ah.